Well, the U.S. is the world's largest oil producer. It is also struggling. One state that has been hit hard is Oklahoma. John Hendren reports from Tulsa. In the state that oil built, the crude industry is crawling. Many wells still pump here in Oklahoma, but across the state, oil derricks and rigs lie rusting in storage yards. The prolonged slump in crude prices hasn't just hit the big oil suppliers. It has a much, much wider ripple effect. You've got drilling companies, you've got roustabouts, you've got roughnecks, um, you have petroleum engineers, you have companies that provide chemicals, sand, water for the hydrofracturing processes. And so it's very, very widespread. Oklahoma is still proud, but this petro state is facing its worst oil crisis in three decades. It's lost 13,000 energy jobs since prices sank nearly two years ago. The state budget is $1.5 billion in the red. Construction has slowed, oil prices are near historic lows, supplies at record highs. This is Cushing, Oklahoma, the largest crude oil storage and pipeline hub in the world. It holds 16% of U.S. oil supplies, and they're now 90% full. The U.S. hasn't stored this much oil since 1930. Every sector of the industry has been hit, though not all equally. Oil terminals still collect fees for moving and storing the glut of oil. There are times that it gets pretty tight to have room for the incoming barrels, but we managed to keep some moving. Tulsa once called itself the oil capital of the world. We've lost about some 2,500 jobs uh, over the past, uh, call it, year and a half. But the city learned from the slump of the 1980s and lured non-energy jobs, 28,000 of them in the past five years. What we realized 10 years ago was that we can't, we can't be a one-horse town. Uh, we can't be a town that is solely dependent upon energy. It certainly did wonders for us for 50 or 60 years. It may, maybe it helped get us on a map. Uh, but you have to be diversified. The worst may be yet to come. Twice a year, banks, the same ones that misjudged the risks of financing the energy industry earlier, recalculate the value of oil companies based on the price of their reserves. That's going on right now, and when it's over, many are likely to go from black ink to red. We're probably going to see it in the next 60 uh, to probably no more than 90 days. These companies have sort of been hanging on. Uh, things haven't improved, and, and unfortunately, I think it's time for a lot of them to uh, declare bankruptcy. That's likely to mean more idle oil service trucks, more unused equipment baking in the Oklahoma sun, and more layoffs. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Tulsa, Oklahoma.